Okay, some easy ukulele riffs today. So I'm going to look at a few more easy ukulele riffs today. I say more, I have already done uh, one tutorial on tabs looking at easy ukulele riffs and I show you how to read tab. Okay, so if you don't know how to read tab, I'll put a link uh, up above now and there'll be one in the description. All right, but I have done a really easy tutorial for beginners on how to read ukulele tab. So five more easy-ish ukulele tabs today. Uh, Beat it, walk this way, Layla, back in black, and what you just heard in the intro then, satisfaction. What I'll do, the tabs will come up below so we can follow them. And there are a few things, little things I just want to point out. Then I will go through it using my electro acoustic. It'll be the same, exactly the same as playing it as an acoustic to start with. Just to show you a couple of little things. Um, and then I'll also put on a few effects just to show you what you can achieve with your ukuleles. So first one we're going to look at is beat it. You can see it down below now. There are a couple of things I just want to point out. And again, if you're not sure how to read tab, please go and watch my introduction or tab tutorial for beginners because it explains how to read the tab in relation to your fingerboard. Okay. So at the beginning of the tab, you've got those three letters, tab, telling us what it is. And you've got those two numbers, four, four. That just means we're counting in four. All right. So the very first note, it says zero, and then one to our second string up. All right, that's a C. But can you see it's joined? There's a line going from that first number or first note to the second note. And that in music is called a tie. And it's quite important because it means you literally tie the two notes together. You just play the one slightly longer note. All right, I'm not going into music theory in detail today. I want you to try and listen and work the rhythm out from knowing what the riff should sound like. Okay, so I'm going to go through it slowly to start with. Let's go from the beginning. So I'm going to count because we've got rests before we come in. It's going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Right, I just played that one dum, so I only played one C at the beginning. Then the rest of the. Then we've got another tie. Okay, then the same as the beginning. Then another tie, and then we stop. Okay, and that riff is sort of repeated. I'll play it again at that speed. Now, I'm literally playing what's written in the tab at the minute. I'm not doing any fancy stuff. We'll have a go with that in a moment. So we'll do it one more time, a little bit faster before we put any fancy effects on. Okay, and you can just keep playing round and round, all right? Let's try it now with a couple of effects. But remember, this is an electroacoustic at the minute. So I'm going to put a little bit of delay and overdrive. Let's see what this sounds like. So I'm still playing it as it's written, but by putting in a few pitch bends, and pitch bends means you're pushing the string across, all right, to bend the pitch, and just putting a couple of little um, fast notes before. Have a quick listen to see if you can spot what I'm doing.
So suddenly a very simple riff can start to sound a little bit fancy even on your ukulele. Still a ukulele, but of course this one's got steel strings. So just, just to see what we can do, I'm gonna add a little bit more distortion, still playing beat it, putting in a couple of um, pitch bends and faster notes now as well, okay? <laughs> So that's beat it as a riff on the ukulele. So walk this way, a little bit of Aerosmith next. Um, when I was choosing these tabs, I was trying to find slightly different features in some of them just to show you um, how tab works. All right. Now then, if we notice in this one, it's got a line over those first three notes. All right. But they're different notes this time. Okay. Now, when they go to the same note, we tie them together, play it as one note. Technically, this is called a slur, but when you're playing guitar and ukulele, those slurs can mean different things. Imagine I'm playing violin, it just means I'd play several notes with one bow. In this case, we're actually playing several notes with one pluck, all right? So I'm gonna do it slowly to start with, but those first three notes, are just going to be one pluck and we're going to it's actually technically it's called a hammer on it's when you're putting your left hand fingers down without plucking nice and slow to start all right get the idea i'll do it again okay so basically the first three notes are one two three all right and that's just one pluck with my thumb all right you can just practice doing that okay all right if you actually listen to the original it's separate plucks or it, I, i'm assuming they're using pluck drums it, it's actually but for now we're just learning this hammer on okay so i'll do it again Okay, so that's with, I am going through the amp and I've got a tiny little bit of reverb on, but no effects on that. I'm going to do it one more time without any more effect, but a bit faster, okay? Okay, let's add uh, a little bit this time, just a little bit of overdrive and a little bit of delay to get that sort of rock feel. And again, I'm just giving a couple of ideas here, all right? It's up to you. If you haven't got effects, just practice it as it is. If you have got effects, experiment. <laughs> So I've got my flight pathfinder back. Now, um, I'm tending a mix at the minute in terms of the way I'm plucking uh, using this, all right? I am really starting to use a plectrum a little bit more just to try and get those real rock sounds, all right? But it is entirely up to you. You can pluck using your thumb, you can pluck using a plectrum, but it's really whatever works for you. So as it's written, <laughs> Just putting a couple of little string bends and things in just to rock it up a bit more. And just 
just remember, I am not a guitarist. I know I'm a wannabe rock chick, all right? But um, I've never played a steel string guitar. I'm a bass guitar player and ukulele player, right? So I'm still very much learning with this, but oh my goodness me, it's fun. So Layla, Eric Clapton's very famous guitar uh, riff. Now then, <laughs> we're talking Eric Clapton here, one of the greatest guitarists. I'm not one of the greatest ukulele plays even, but I will give it a go. This one now has got a few other slightly different techniques. It's not the easiest one by a long way, all right? But with a little bit of practice, it is doable. So if we look at the tab to start with, you'll notice now we've got a combination, all right, of lines that are going to different notes and then lines that are going to the same notes, so slurs, um, or hammer-ons, all right, and there's something else in this as well, and tied notes. So it's really important to know, but again, it's such a well-known riff that hopefully you'll know what it goes like. And if you're playing it right, great. And if you're playing it wrong, you know you need to change it. Right, really slowly to start with. Okay, we've got slurs to start. And then you can see there's like a tiny little no, a tiny little well note or number which goes three five. I'll point that out when we come to it. So slowly, I'm going to start. So there's my hammer on. Now we're actually doing technically it's called a pull off. I want to get those three notes in one pluck all right now i can just lift my finger but it doesn't always sound properly see what i mean if i just lift it up whereas if you lift and slightly pull as you go you get another note out of it Okay, I fluff it sometimes, all right, but that is a combination now of a hammer on and a pull off in one slur. Don't panic, it doesn't matter if you're doing different plucks, if you're doing it. All right, that's absolutely fine, but I just want to explain what some of these other features are in the tab as we go. So still going that speed, but I'm gonna go further. Okay, so you could see then those little notes go like this. And then we go five, seven. All right, so they're proper hammer-ons there. All right, I'm not plucking twice. That is just the second. You wouldn't have time to pluck it that fast anyway. And then we've got our tied notes as well. Little bit faster. that's no effects let's add a little bit of delay a little bit of overdrive you know I'm never going to get the Clapton sound but here we go I plucked all the notes just to give you an idea of how that works and rather than doing a fast like that I actually slid up okay it really is down to interpretation and style all right so you can try all sorts of things once you've learnt the basic tab right let's have a little go with the flight with the solid body electric ukulele <laughs> Same 
same effects on that then. I'm just gonna try a little bit and add a little bit of chorus. See how that works out, okay. <laughs> Just to give you a few ideas, so that's Eric Clapton's Layla. Right, ACDC's back in black, a little bit of proper rock now. You'll notice this is the first one we've actually got some chords to play as well as single notes. Now I've actually put the chord names above, you can see F and G and D. Then we've got some single tabbed out notes, all right? There are our little slurs going across. To... All right, we'll come to that in a minute. And then you can see this funny uh, arrow going up, all right, pitch bend. All right, but there is a tie in there as well. So it's just the one note you're playing. Okay, so chords to start, then into our single notes. No effects. And then you just keep going around and repeat that a couple of times. I'm going to do it a bit slower this time. Here we go. So F, G, D chords to start. counting you need to know when you're coming in on that ba -da -ba -ba -ba, this bit it's longer than you think you can almost tap your ukuleles okay I'll do it again that speed Now then, you can't play this one without any, well, you can play it without effects, but it's so much better. Delay, overdrive. I'm gonna stack the crunch distortion. We may end up with a bit of feedback. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Little bit faster. <laughs> Now, of course, trying to use that much distortion um, on an electroacoustic is always going to have possible feedback issues. So I've just swapped to this one for a minute. All I'm going to do very slowly is just show you this falling with the notes. OK, so I've got the same effects on now. All right. And I, really slowly. <laughs> Again, slowly so it's pull off another pull off pitch bends, and a pull off at the end okay and again and it will take a bit of practice then of course the end bit is before we go back into our F chord. So here is the whole riff on my solid body flight pathfinder. <laughs>
love it. So we'll finish today with Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Um, this one certainly isn't the hardest out of these riffs today. Um, but again, it's got something different. This is why I've chosen these ones. All right, we've got lots of ties. You can see that line underneath this time go in between the same notes. So in other words, you're just making that one note. We've got two strings playing, so I'm actually going to... All right, I'm going to use my first finger and my thumb to play it on the electroacoustic. I'll go back to using a pick or a plectrum uh, on the other uke. All right, and then they've got some weird lines. You can see they're almost like sort of parallel lines drop in between those threes and twos, and that just means slide, okay? Okay. Might need to just practice that little bit by itself. And then you get faster. Okay, let's try it nice and slow the whole riff. you need to think about first of all are you plucking the two strings even because you do need them to be fairly even okay and when you're sliding down all I'm doing I'm actually I'm, I'm not cheating I'm being sensible my first finger is pressing those two strings down and I'm just using my middle finger as a little bit of support on it just means then I've got the shift going on okay again it's rock so let's try it with a couple of effects same speed all right and again it's one of those riffs you can just keep going round and round to practice distortion I don't know about feedback I'm just learning how to play the Rolling Stones on the ukulele. Doesn't get any better than that. Right, let's try it with a solid body ukulele. Um, this is actually easier than I thought when it comes to just plucking the bottom two strings of the plectrum, all right, and moving up and down with this. Something else as well, and this is where there is a big sound difference between this uke and the electroacoustic, is this one's got a low G on it. Now, it, some of the songs you don't even notice, all right? But this one in particular, I think anyway, sounds much better with a low G ukulele. Here we go. <laughs> riffs um, that you can play on your ukulele 
Hopefully me explaining a few of those tab features today has helped, but don't get hung over the little details. Really concentrate on the notes and you know the rhythms of them anyway. All right, you can work on the little different techniques and stuff. And again, you don't need fancy pedals or you know solid body ukuleles. You can do it with whatever ukulele. It's all about learning where the tabs are. So I do hope you found that useful and you're gonna be rocking up your ukes. Um, as always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.